exception. Increasingly more of Britain is becoming streamlined to keep pace with the enormous growth of road packing traffic. Not far from Land's End on the River Tamar near Plymouth, the old-fashioned ferry is now no more. In its place, the great Tamar Bridge finally began to reach over the sea-bound waters in 1961. Its companion, the famous Royal Albert Railway Bridge, completed in 1859. The railway pioneered the way, and a century after, a road bridge follows to carry its massive rolling stock of goods and holidaymakers to and from Cornwall. From bank to bank, the Tamar measures over a thousand feet. Pause for a second and admire the steel-hearted men who put their hearts into spanning that distance 250 feet up. A safety launch is the only admission of danger. Sections of steel truss 60 foot long were erected at ground level and floated out on a pontoon. From there, mighty cables hoisted them into position, a permanent position costing two million pounds. Eventually, after it was originally planned more than 10 years before, the Tamar Bridge took shape, a feat of engineering of which to be proud. Early in 1962, it was open to the public. From Plymouth, a 33-foot carriageway stretches to Cornwall as an extension of the A38. Its deck, of reinforced concrete six inches thick, is a barometer, rising and falling according to the weather. Normally 135 feet above high water, it is estimated that in the heat of summer, it could well be as much as two feet higher than on the coldest winter's day. To help reduce the enormous expenditure, a toll must be paid to cross the bridge. A single journey costs three shillings, a day return four and sixpence but it's worth it to avoid up to two hours' wait for a ferry. The toll rate isn't the same for all classes of vehicles. These lads on bikes, for example, only have to pay a few pennies. Here, then, is another of Britain's answers to congested roads. Putting the enjoyment back into motoring is a long and expensive business, but slowly developments like the Tamar Bridge are being achieved. It's a boon to lorry drivers, and it's put Cornwall well and truly back on the map for the family man who might have had second thoughts about suffering the traffic bottlenecks. But the Tamar Bridge is more than that. It's a tribute to Britain's engineers.